Today's topic of discussion is design procedure for turnbuckle. This is the drawing or the sketch of turnbuckle. This is the coupler and this is the inner diameter D1 and outer diameter capital D2. This is coupler nut and the diameter is capital D. This is the length okay L and this is the rod which has outer diameter which we can say as nominal diameter and DC which is the which is the core diameter of the rod okay and here now this length is the length of the coupler nut okay because there will be another length also which will be the length of the coupler which will be the total length so now in our design procedure we will be actually finding the values of everything like d0 d1 d2 capital d small l total length okay and d0 dc which is the core diameter of the rod so let us see how we'll go step by step so step one failure of rod in tension what we have done we have taken that the rod rod can fail in tension so tensile stress which is given the load which is given from here we can find dc that is the core diameter which uh, can fail in tension because the rod will fail because of the core diameter so here we found the core diameter but we have to find the nominal diameter and nominal diameter they will give a table or you can memorize this for quick use during examination like for example 22 to 28 it will come in four step like 22 24 26 28 and for this you can take pitch as 5 for 30 to 36 30 32 34 36 you can take as pitch as 6 so henceforth so like 38 to 44 7 46 to 52 8 55 to 62 9 65 to 82 10 85 to 92 12 here on this side on the right hand side this will not follow like steps of 4 like we have mentioned over here here it will be like 55 then it will be 58 60 62 somewhat like that so this is just for your quick reference and memorizing if a table is not provided during examination so once you get dc you can select a do from here for example you got dc 33.5 and if you see the selected will come in this range because if you see 44 and if I minus 7 from here so then I will get 37 which is on a higher side so then I will take 42 42 minus 7 35 and if I got here 33.5 so I can take this range to so do as 42 once I minus 7 I will get 35 so if I get 33.5 I can take rounded figure for DC as 35 and DO the selected DO will be 42 so now step 2 considering shear failure of thread at root so here shear stress which will be given is equal to load upon the affected area that is pi DC L from here you can find this L okay and then we can go for next step that is checking crushing stress here I have used word checking so that is more important because here we will be checking whether the crushing stress which we get is less than the permissible crushing stress the load is given and the affected area is pi by 4 d naught square minus dc square into n into l where n is 1 upon the pitch so you can find n and put here and once you get the value of crushing stress we have to see whether it is less than the permissible crushing stress which is given in the problem now step number four considering tensile failure of the coupler nut so we'll have this coupler nut what we have considered tensile failure of coupler nut so tensile stress what we have taken w upon the affected area that is pi by 4 d square minus d naught square from here we can find capital D so from here we found capital D so once we finalize this D then we will move to next step considering 
टेंसाइल फेलियर ऑफ कपलिंग तो टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस वी हैव टेकन सो हियर इट विल बी लोड अपॉन द इफेक्टेड एरिया दैट इज पाई बाय फोर डी टू स्क्वायर माइनस डी वन स्क्वायर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस डी वन एंड डी टू दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया सो टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू लोड अपॉन पाई बाय फोर डी टू स्क्वायर माइनस डी वन स्क्वायर हियर वी हैव टू अनोन्स डी टू एंड डी वन डी वन वी कैन फाइंड बाय द फॉर्मूला डी वन इज इक्वल टू डी नॉट प्लस सिक्स एक्चुअली द रेंज इज वी कैन टेक सिक्स और सेवन और एट सो वी कैन टेक एज सिक्स एम एम सो डी वन इज इक्वल टू डी नॉट प्लस सिक्स एम एम सो वंस वी गेट डी वन वी कैन पुट द वैल्यू ओवर हियर एंड अदर आर नोन सो वी कैन फाइंड डी टू बट इन प्रैक्टिस वी विल नॉट यूज दिस वैल्यू बिकॉज दिस विल बी अ लोअर वैल्यू सो वॉट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई डी नॉट बाय वन पॉइंट फाइव the range is from 1.5 to 1.7 so we'll take the higher end 1.7 d not so whichever value is higher normally this value is higher after multiplying by 1.5 to 1.7 we will take 1.7 because it is on the higher side this value will be greater so we will take the value of d not as this value then we can find the length of the coupler that is equal to 6 into d not that is the nominal diameter into 6 then the thickness of the coupler which is this we can find thickness of the coupler is equal to 0.75 d not so this was design procedure for turnbuckle please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching